Crumbles. We're at the Richard Johnson Inn in Fredericksburg, Virginia. We're going to do a room tour. This is the Fréjus. Fré uh, it's French. Um, it is a king bed, as you can tell. Um, it is on the third floor. There's no, it's not handicap accessible. This is a very old inn. I can't remember the exact year. Um, I'll put it down here. And Supposedly this uh, hotel, or this inn was actually, this house was actually made by a guy who signed the Declaration of Independence, but I couldn't find any record of his name actually like as a signee, but it was actually um, bought by the Fredericksburg mayor named Richard Johnson, and this is the house that he lived in, and it has turned into an inn. Um, there's several rooms here, and it is in the heart of Old Town. Uh, Fredericksburg. So you have a lot of food options, you have a lot of shopping antique options, and it's super close to the, you know, the entire city of Fredericksburg. So close to Mary Washington, um, close to some of the battlegrounds, close to Ferry Farm. So if you're looking for that kind of vacation, it's perfect choice. Um, we just got here. As you can tell, this is actually a pretty big room. Um, if you're tall like my husband, he can't, he's not going to be able to do any jumping jacks, not that he would, because of these beams. I love these beams. I've always kind of wanted a house with like expressed beams like this. I don't know, I just, it adds to the charm, I think, of the place. So you have a big king bed. Um, we haven't slept in it yet, we just got here. Seems kind of firm. Um, and then you have a few different chairs. You have lamps. It's not, it's not like a super modern, you know, hotel because this inn is historical. Um, but you still have, we have um, lights, we have a little guest booklet you can sign in. Beautiful, like, furniture that seems appropriate to the style of room. Then you can have a little view of the street of Fredericksburg. Then you also have, they have a TV for you, um, so, you know, you're not, you cannot without your TV. AC, um, I'm guessing a, um, another, I don't know what that is. A dehumidifier. A dehumidifier, okay. Then they have water for us, they have, this is, did you say brandy or cognac? I think it's a brandy. Brandy? So they have brandy for you, they have some chocolates for you, they have a little journal. Um, that has the Wi-Fi password and some other information about tours and um, restaurants. So nice little guide. Um, and like I said, chocolates, which I like chocolates. What is this? Oh, how, tip, tip, a little tip envelope for the housekeeper. A little doll. <laughs> At least it's not a creepy looking doll. It's actually kind of cute. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> there is free parking, so you don't have to actually, you know, you don't have to struggle to find public parking. Um, well, there's a painting of Washington. I'm going to assume Mary, his mother? Or is it? Yeah, Mary, baby. It looks like an older woman. Her Mary, the Mary Washington house is actually down the street. So you have this huge uh, like coat closet, mm -hmm. so you can hang up certain things, um, extra bedding, and then you said this was a robe. No, that's my jacket on top. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is like two bathrobes. Two ba bathrobes. I don't think I'll fit in that one. You've got a mirror on the wardrobe, and this is a bathroom. It's a very... So it's nice, it's actually like well lit in this bathroom. The rest of the room is not as lit, but you have mouthwash, they give you soap, uh, lotion. What is this? Oh, like little pods, so for you could do for like bubble baths. Oh yeah, you twist off and add it to your water. Mm -hmm. Makeup remover. It's just a cloth. Soap. Um, <laughs> I just need the camera yeah. to show them this part. The shower is old fashioned. Um, ooh, you're gonna. My tall husband might have some issues with this bathroom. But, yep, you have a bath, you have a shower, and 
Yeah. Oh, and then they have like soap and I mean shampoo and conditioner down in the corner. So yeah, so we just checked in. We're gonna turn on the AC because the room has a little, it's not hot, but it's it needs the AC. <laughs> And we're just gonna enjoy ourselves. It is a bed and breakfast, so there is breakfast included in the rate. Um, so, and I will take you, probably I'll, like show you around a little bit of the rest of the inn. Um, and so yeah, and it is pet friendly. There's a few rooms that you can bring your pet and it's $50. I did check because I was deciding if we should bring our dog or not. We decided not to. And so yeah, so it is pet friendly with certain rooms. And yeah, we're gonna enjoy our stay here. So we are about to check out of the Richard Johnston Inn, and it was a very nice stay. We only stayed one night, but the staff was super amazing. Breakfast was delicious. It was a banana foster uh, French toast bake. Did I say that right or wrong? I probably said too many words. But it was delicious, um, and definitely would recommend staying here if you're ever in Fredericksburg. It is a super cute little inn. Um, we had wonderful the bed was wonderful slept great and and it's just in the heart of Fredericksburg so I have no complaints um well the shower was a little weird <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to turn it off and I forgot like what position it was in but husband figured it out but <laughs> other than that everything was nice um I definitely would recommend to stay here so with that with that being said um like and subscribe and join me for future videos